G'day, g'day, Spartan Willie here, and welcome to Dismantle. Welcome! So, I hope you're all having a lovely day. Um, today, we're playing Dismantle. Now, this game came out in November last year. I've been looking at it for a couple months now, and I've finally decided to take the lunge and buy it. I know a lot of people, I know a couple of people actually, who are sitting on the fence about this game, so I thought I'd play it, upload some gameplay, see how it is, so wait, what's this, the game started. This is an automatic recording sent from, everyone will be provided a safe transit as soon as possible. So I assume it's like a post-apocalyptic zombie, zombie apocalypse game. We want to know what we have to do just to survive, just to exist. We're getting straight into it here, so I won't talk over this. Alright, so that was a little little intro. So basically we're working on escaping an island in a sort of zombie apocalypse uh, theme, I think. So I'm pretty sure you can literally just break everything in this game. So we're just going to go around just hitting everything with this crowbar. Uh, WASD to move by the looks of it. And we can't break some things. Basically this game's all about breaking stuff I've read in the reviews. So I'm kind of inter interested to see what kind of gameplay we sort of find here. Um, light with fire. Do we need a light that? I'm not sure. Camp. Should we camp? I don't know. I don't really want to camp here. I assume that means like sleep. Let's read this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that much. You can hold it down as well. So just to sort of avoid clicking. You know, you don't want to tire out your finger already. But yeah, so all I know about this game is basically you break things. You get better equipment to break more things. And then eventually you escape the island. I don't know. I'm not sure about it. I didn't know there was a story to this game, to be honest. I thought it was more of a sandbox. But upgrade the crowbar tool and break through the obstacles. I guess we'll accept that quest. So I know we can break barbecues. We can break wood chairs, but not wood tables for some reason. So we can't break wood tables. We can break wood chairs. Uh, we can't break the barrels. Surely we can break this fence over here. I'm looking at this fence. Yes. Oh, vines. Oh, fence is stronger than the metal barrels. Can we break the dresser? No, but we can break the vines. <laughs> so we're literally just breaking everything so upgrade the crowbar at the camp oh, okay so we have to go back to the camp makes sense camp upgrade gear there we go and yep we got that can we upgrade the backpack not quite oh you have to hold it you have to hold it my bad oh so now we need scrap metal scrap wood and plastics so what's our damage now may I ask did I yep destroy the dresser obstacle that's not the dresser, the dresser's up here. Ah, yeah, opens up the next room. Nice, it kind of reminds me of that phone game, um, State of Survival or whatever that is. I kind of like the look at this game though so far. I'm getting the basic mechanics down, so we can't break coffee tables just yet. So it does look like you have to pick up the thing that drops on the floor. So it doesn't just automatically come to you, but that's alright. It's just, just sort of still learning the basics of the game, but... We're picking it up pretty early. Should we listen to the radio? All working evacuation transports are outbound. Please keep calm. Wait for maintenance. Um, there's no time to keep calm. Smash everything. Keep calm and smash everything. They should make that into a shirt. What can we cook? Okay, that's fine. Is it like hunger and stuff? I'm assuming there is. Can we go in this this room? I can't really get to it. I'm just. <laughs> can you rotate the camera at all? Yeah, you can. Sweet. So there's no door there. I was I was being pranked. Let's get these vines off the wall. So you can use the sort of the middle mouse wheel to rotate. Um, but let's pick up this leaf. Go, oh, my bags are full. Okay, well, maybe I should upgrade my backpack at the camp. That's a good idea. I didn't really read what we needed to upgrade the backpack, but plant fiber was one of them. I think we needed 10 plant fibers or something. Uh, plant matter, sorry. And scrap fabric. So we got too much stuff. Can we um, sort of get rid of something? Where is... Where's our, like, stuff? Quest. Escape the island. Well, that's a pretty broad quest. Oh, here it is. Collection. Can I store stuff at the campfire? I don't know. 
Upgrade gear. I'm confused. Alright, let's just go. What's our quest again? I think we've done the quest. We have to destroy the dresser. Alright, uh, well, let's just go out here. Wait, what's... We can pick up more stuff now. I'm confused. Let's just hit stuff. Go back to hitting things. It looks like we can pick more stuff up now. <laughs> I swear it said upgrade your bag to carry more stuff, but maybe that was a specific material. Anyway, we're back on track. We're picking up plant fibers. Now we need... I think we need plastic. Um, so we've got to find plastic. Can we destroy this bed yet? No, way off the bed. Our damage is nowhere near that. Yeah, man, I'm already on it. I'm already on it. Don't worry about it. Search this. Please have two bits of plastic in there. I mean, why am I talking about plastic? It's, yeah, scrap fabric. That's what we're after. Plastic. What am I on about? That was for the crowbar. So, we've almost got the plant fiber. I'm almost getting Fortnite Save the World vibes as well. I don't know. This is like a weird mix of games. But I'm, I'm liking it so far. It's... I mean, we're very early days, five minutes in, but this is a good vibe. I like the bird's eye view. Uh, but how many plant fibers did we get? If I think we only got one, but we sort of need two, don't we? Oh, scrap fabric. Oh, just there's too many things. I'm already confusing myself. Oh, so it looks like you put stuff in there. Ah. So you automatically unload into that box. Your items into that box. Yeah, you do. It clears that. Okay, gotcha. Well, that's that's handy. So that box has got unlimited storage. Okay, that, that makes more sense now. I'm with you. I'm with you on that front. Good to know. So, if we move through here, what's this on the floor? We can't grab that. So, now we need more fabric. What can we destroy for fabric? Surely it's like carpet or... Um, I'm trying to think. Should we go out here? I think we should go out here. Oh. Oh, we got our first enemy here. Uh, Ex-human scrapper. This ex-human uses different types of melee attacks to bring down its target. Oh my days. I assume it's just hit, go back, hit again. Whoa. Oh, we got fabric. Right, I'm out of here. I want to go upgrade the backpack for you, except the next mission. I feel like that's a smart... Oh, sorry. Wrong thing. Wrong interactable. So upgrade gear. Let's do backpack. Oh, I have to hold it. Come on, Spartan. Remember these basic things. Um, Scrap wood, scrap fabric, and plant matter, and scrap metal. Gee, it's getting difficult. That's a big... So right now we've got increased da we've got damage of 12. And yeah. So we're doing... Now have more stuff on the bottom. More squares. Yeah, we sure do. Alright, let's go get that explanation mark outside. So is there a stamina? Because I'm sprinting right now. Oh, another zombie. Respawned. That's fine, we can take it on. So I, I already got the combat in this game. Sorted down, Pat. Whoa. Take that. Bang. And more plant fiber, look at that. Oh, we can hold down for a power attack. I should have read that before we attacked it. Anyway, too late now. Can we destroy this bench? Escape the island? Do we escape the island already? No, I need scrap metal. What's something we can somewhat destroy? Because obviously scrap metal will probably become from a a car, but we can't destroy a car yet. Let's go on the playground. Oh, you could do a roll. Did not know that. From memory of the native inhabitant in 1917. Fair enough. East this way. Can we destroy this? Give me that. Oh yeah, plastics. That's what we like to see. <gasps> we can destroy barrels now. Pewdiepie. Classic PewDiePie barrels. You should play this game. Bring it back. No joke. I love PewDiePie now and back in the day. But just getting these barrels. His Coco Melon District comes out soon. Anyway, let's stop talking about PewDiePie and back on the game. What's this um, question mark here? Wow. Whole shifter on. I think I had that covered. Bins not right. So we can destroy metal barrels, but not bins yet. But we're not going to look at too far into that. But I think we should. Get some metal barrels here, yeah. I do remember seeing metal, metal barrels. I'm remembering things, which is fantastic. So destroy these. We'll take them back to the camp. Uh, like so. Camp. I'm actually really enjoying this game so far. It's such a simple concept, but it's a good concept. I'm interested, interested to see where it goes with the story as well. So requirements, scrap metal, scrap wood, plastics. Scrap wood, scrap fabric, plant. So we're getting there with the plant matter the backpack but do we want the crowbar i think we want the crowbar next so we need scrap metal scrap wood and plastics all right 
scrap metal, so metal, wood, plastic. Can remember that. Oh, what? We can destroy that now. That's got to be wood. Beautiful. Got to pick it up. So I assume that's like the quantity there at the bottom. Uh, can we destroy this? Oh, that means surely we can destroy the coffee table. No, we can destroy the table, but not the coffee table. What? We can't destroy that table. On the zombie respawned. It seems like the zombie will just respawn every time. I should use the power attack. There we go. Beautifully done. It's alright. It's an unlimited scrap fabric farm. Alright, let's search this house. Oh, didn't really get a good... Two zombies. Oh, hang on. Calm down, please. Calm down. That's one. Oh, I missed completely. That's embarrassing. So I don't think there's like sort of stamina you have to manage. Whoa, it's fast. This one's fast. Oh... Still in the, the combat a little bit. Hit it quick. Yep, good boy. Plastics. And what was that? Scrap metal. Yes. Surely we can destroy this table. Ceramics. Good job. Um, we need more plant fibers as well. So is there another camp? Because I feel like we shouldn't be respawning that zombie every time we need to go take something back. But maybe you do. I'm not 100% sure. So search that. We'll take that. And I sort of want to get more of the other stuff because we already got full plant. Is that zombie seeing us? I can't tell. Um, the inventory management isn't a pain. So if I think if you had to manually drag everything over when you finish, uh, when you fill up, you have to like manually drag over. But if it automatically does it, so we don't have to go on the camp every time. Oh, okay. I'm with you now. Well, that's all right. That's even better then. You don't have to play any animation. So the zombie will respawn? No. Zombie stays dead. That's great. Let's go back in the house, get more plant fibers. I feel like plant fibers are important for the backpack, aren't they? We'll take the plastic, so they're also important for the crowbar. What am I destroying right now? Whatever it is, is giving me metal. So we'll take that any day of the week. So yeah, um, this is basically the game. Nah, I'm joking. There's probably a story. I mean, there is a story, but I'm keen to see where it goes with the evacuation. Maybe this is like Tutorial Island. I don't know if I'm meant to just go now or what. Should I wait to level two? Do I upgrade stuff? Let's just go. Let me just store my materials and let's go. Let's stop grinding. Um, store materials. We'll probably find a new camp. Now, can we upgrade? I'll be close to upgrading anything before you leave. Um, not really on that front. And no, not on that front. So let's just try go west and see what happens. Or east, whatever it is. Go to the evacuation site east of your shelter. All right, well, let's do that. It said we can explore first, and the zombies respawn. Oh, I got the terrible power attack there. What the? Okay, we've got to get this power attack right. There we go. There she goes. Oh. Okay, so what is it? East. Eastern gate. I assume it's this way. Yep, we knew that one. Let's get these, because these give you plastics. That's what we want. Oh, there's another camp here. Oh, grouse. Alright, sick. So now we don't we go to the next spot. I should have come here first, shouldn't I? Uh, investigate. So some basic equipment is needed to have a chance of survival. So this is what I was meant to go to. Uh, find a map at the link tower, upgrade your backpack, level up. We're so close to leveling up. So yeah. Let's search this. Investigate. Hello. Doggy not home. Doge. There we go. Let us swipe. Oh oh geez, she's getting up close and personal now. Take that, buddy. All right, metal mine. Ah, first bit of damage. That's not great. I sort of stayed to fight it. Ah, get away from me. There we go. Take that one, buddy. We're now level two. Return to the ca campfire and invent a new recipe that'll help you on the journey. All right, we will do that. Let me just get some more stuff to store before we go. You may as well. If we're going to go through the whole animation of going to the campfire. <laughs> the whole one second animation. But... There you go, tomato soup. Fantastic. So I assume food is a problem in this game. Maybe we need food to heal. I don't know. We'll see in a minute, won't we? We're still not 100% sure how this stuff works. Well, I'm not. You might have an idea, but... There you go. Tomatoes. All right, let's go. Store these materials and go to said campfire to unlock this new recipe or whatever that was. Camping restores your health and replenishes uses for equipped items. However, it appears to do... Oh, okay. 
So every time you go to the campfire, the zombies respawn. That's why that zombie kept respawning over and over again. Enables inventing camping items at the campfire. Invent and craft. Throwing knives? No, I think tools-wise are pretty good. A cooking pot. What was that good for? Perfect for cooking recipes at stoves. Eh. What's food even for? I don't see a food bar anywhere. I, what does throwing knives even need? There's only four uses. Now we'll just keep using the crowbar for monsters for now. Let's get a cooking pot. Now you got to hold down a craft. Oh, it uses materials. Sorry, we don't use ceramics for anything yet anyway, I don't believe. Upgrade gear. How close are we? So we need a bit more scrap fabric and heaps more wood. We need so much more wood. Crowbar wise, we're way off as well because they both use the same thing. So I don't know whether I upgrade the crowbar first or the backpack. Probably the crowbar because backpack, we're pretty fine on that front. Now this is the zombie that hit me, the bastard. So I'll tell you that. There we go. Beautifully done. All right, let's destroy something that will give me wood. The material. There we go. Oh, and fabric. Two for one. Two things we need. And we need one more tomato for tomato soup. So we got to find the map at the tower as well. But right now, I, I kind of just want to get this crowbar upgraded. You know how it is. I'm a driven man. Should we get some wood from the bookshelf? No, we can't hit the bookshelf yet. Bloody hell. Uh, we just sort of just got to hit everything because it's a bit inconsistent on what you can destroy and what you can't destroy. But we can search something here by the looks of it. Nope, I was wrong. All right, moving on. Let's search the dresser. Yes, fabric. Oh, what a bonus. Uh, it's going here. Surely we can destroy both these. At least the chair. Give me at least a chair. I don't care about the desk yet. Desk is a no-go. We'll take more... Um, what are these called again? Plant matter. I'm just calling everything anything. So if you hear me pronounce one thing four times in like five seconds... Um, yeah. Don't be surprised. But let's store that because I don't think we can... We don't want to respawn. You know what? Let's respawn that zombie just to get a quick status update on where we are with the crowbar so we need scrap metal we know we're close scrap wood but close on the plastics so let's kill the zombie that's going to respawn so we're going to get scrap metal from ah oh, you can't trade with them spawn come on mate all right run over if the zombie might itch my eye all right back whoa take that back off back off there we go take that scrap metal so we should kill that zombie over and over again uh, where are we going to get metal from? That's my question. So we need more barrels. So we've got to go find barrels. Let's go down here. Oh, I missed his first swing. That's embarrassing. Take that. That's a good hit. Even better hit. Let's go. Uh, yeah, we need more plastics for show. For show. Give me that. And now metal, metal, metal. Metal is the big one. We're going to go around here to this tower. Oh, here we go. Hold to activate. Uh oh, this is going to be like Far Cry Radio Towers. Ubisoft have had a hand in making this game. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, acquired map for... What's the map for? I was kind of excited. Located nearby Link Towers. This is literally Far Cry. Look at that. Radio Towers unlock the map. Oh, Ubisoft, man. Open Westgate, Eastgate. Look, let's not worry about that right now. I need to upgrade this crowbar. I'm not opening that gate. Okay, claim reward. When's the next quest? Probably to open the east gate. Go to the evacuation shop. I want to upgrade the crowbar before we go. I don't want to be underprepared in the next area, you know what I mean? That's got to be plastics. Yep. Um, I don't know how close we are. Where's the metal? Alright, yep. We'll hit the wood on the other side. Sure. Not the things I was trying to hit in front of it. We'll hit the thing on the other side. I don't think we're going to be able to hit enough stuff with metal. That's the thing. It's a bit silly, they need 15 metal. We've destroyed 100 objects already. Oh, God. The journey's just begun, really, eh? Oh, we got a zombie on our six. Take that, buddy. Take that. Run, run, run. Kind of gives me a How to Survive vibe as well. But I, I barely played that, to be honest. I don't know, every game that is... You can destroy everything and is bird eye view. So, Fortnite, How to Survive... You know, Diablo 3 even. Any game that you play from above, it just reminds me of. So, let's read that this says a speed quest, surely. Yeah, we knew the dodge roll. Come on, man. Can we destroy this after we search it, obviously? No, that's not savage enough, then. Oh, we can't upgrade that. We have to go back to the camp. I don't really want to 
open up the camp because that means all the zombies respawn. There's quite a lot of zombies between here and there. So surely there's another campfire around here, actually. I should probably check that. And did we search this? We sure did. So let's store these and look for another campfire. Lovely stuff. Lovely. Oh, there's a backpack too. Oh, it tells you what you need up here. Anyway, let's open up this west, this east tower or whatever that was. Um, why won't it tell me... Can you, like, track items? Because I don't really want the backpack to yet. I sort of want the crowbar to, if I'm being honest. But it's only showing me the backpack. You know what? I don't know. We'll just do whatever the game tells me to. So should I go to this evacuation island before I upgrade? Let's destroy this bathtub. Oh, we can destroy all this. So we can continue on our journey. Surely there's going to be a camp near here so I don't have to keep running back and killing the same zombies if I want to craft something at the fire. Oh my days. That's going to explode. Whoa. That was a decent explosion. It damaged the cars, which is pretty cool. I'm just hitting everything. You just got to hit everything with this crowbar. This crowbar is invincible. I just feel like I've forgotten something. What's down here? Wow, this map is easy to get lost in, I feel. Is that the starting house? No. Um, let's keep stick it to the east because I feel like that's where the next camp will be. Is that the same pizza sign as before? I don't know. I'm lost already. Uh, this world is easy to get lost in. Where's this next camp, you reckon? I reckon it's up here somewhere. We're definitely going the right way, I'm sure. Is there a map we can look at? Yeah. So the cage suburb. Oh, there's a quest over there and there's a quest in there. A locked door. Alright. You need a lockpick. Okay, that's fine. So we unlocked an invention. So when we level up, we get a lockpick. So that is all basically setting up the next part of the game. But there is a quest down here. I wish I saw this map sooner. Who would have thought? Map M, you know. Day 1. It's about 1.30 in day 1. Where's my camp? I should store some items before we go do this quest. Oh my god, I'm playing for 22 minutes already. Oh, goodness. This game is a time sink. I can totally see it being a time sink. Give me that plastic. Destroy all this. I actually don't know how long the story of the game actually is. Or if there is a story, or if it's like a loose story. I don't even know. I know nothing about it story-wise or content-wise. I'm just going to sort of upload me just playing it. You guys, if you want to see gameplay of it, just watch me play it. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's investigate this. Oh, reach XP level 5. Boo! Come on, don't put a quest in the starting area. So that means that this isn't a starter island. If we're here till level 5, surely then... Like, what am I going to do on the starter island for that long? We can always upgrade the backpack if we get another fabric. So we can almost kill one of the zombies again, because one of the zombies can be fabric. Or we can search, like, a bin or something. They sometimes give out fabric. Um, I don't know. I don't really want another backpack. I want the crowbar first, but I guess we're going to have to have the backpack. Let's search this house. Oh. Whoa, he swiped me. That probably should have hit, I reckon. There we go. Hit it quickly. Bang. Yeah, there's the fabric. All right, we outie. I guess we upgrade this backpack. I'm loving the... The, the fighting in this game. I actually really like this whole feel. It's a really nice game, handling-wise. The controls feel so smooth with the, the holding to power attack and the WASD to move. Big fan, big fan. Now, we're going to have to kill all those zombies again because we've opened up our camp. But we can invent, hopefully, lockpicks. So we can... Requires experience level 11. You're having a laugh. So we're on this island till level 11. So yeah, we're basically on this island. That's the end game. I think we reach the east gate. But uh, it's going to set us back all the way on the on the metal. Oh, you can target it. Well, that's fine. Get rid of that. I don't care about the backpack. Oh, we'll keep it up. We'll keep it up. I don't care about the quick and pop. I want to do crowbar first. All right, well, I'm glad we got that out of the way. So we need five more scrap metal for crowbar. All right, after the crowbar, we'll probably look at wrapping up this first episode here. But, um, yeah, no, this game's a, an absolute blast. If you like grinding games, like, in crafting games, you'll love this game, man. Like, it's a nice, different feel to it as well, with the whole, um, sort of way you play it. Like, the movement's fluid, uh, it's not clunky. Just a, a quick first impression, 24 minutes in. What the? This guy's throwing poop at me or something. Oh, he, he's... A smart zombie, I'll give him that. Smart AI. But he's still gonna lose. I hope he knows that. He's still gonna lose. Come on, I I fight I fight Dillos in Ark. Oh no. He leaves puddles behind. I did not foresee this. Oh no. 
Oh, I didn't miss that. Oh, we got another zombie here. Oh, what? Come on, that's a, that's friendly fire. Woo! Come on, son. Come on. Bring it on. Oh, he keeps backing up, the chicken. Oh, come on, mate. Oh, I didn't miss that. There we go. What is this guy want? Oh, watch out for the acid paddle. My guy. I don't even know my guy's name. We'll call him Spartan, because Spartan's cool. It's not really a human name, but... Come here, bro. Come out. Come at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as long as you're swiping at me, you can't shoot puddles at me. So that's... Wow. Ex-human hurler. We like that. So we need a little bit of metal. Oh, so they taught you the roll so you could dodge the the things, I'm guessing. The acid puddles. Um, metal. Where are we going to get metal from? Probably in here. Oh, lock picking. Come on, man. It's so restrictive of you. Um, lock picking, lock picking, lock picking. I mean, not lock picking, metal. That's plastic. So we're getting a lot of plastic now. Yeah, we got 31 plastic. I'm about to get 32. Give me that. Surely we can destroy this yet. No. So uh, this upgrade will increase it from 12 to 16. Surely there's so much more stuff you can break with 16. No, we can't break a fire hydrant. Yes, yes, yes. We get it. We get it. Lock picking. You don't have it. Oh, scrap metal. Beautiful. Yes, unlock door. Take that, buddy. No, he's not a hurler, is he? He is too. Get out of here. What? The false gatekeeper. I've triggered a cutscene on accident, so I had to do this the whole time. Hey, I was trying to upgrade my crowbar, to be fair. There's a zombie in the cutscene. Alright, let's get out of here. Let me kill the, the sort of backup zombies, then we'll worry about the main zombie. So, can we kill this guy? I feel like I... Oh, no, 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 we're fine. His health bar's at the top. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. First boss fight. I'm, there's boss fights in this game as well. That's amazing. Ah! Oh, I'm low on health. I should have went gone to the camp before I did this. I really should have. But we're taking him on. No, you know what? We're not. I don't want to die. Let's go sleep at the camp, come back, fight this guy. Because I don't want to die yet. I've been playing this game for a little bit. Look how far we've run away from the campfire. Surely there's another campfire we can we can light up. Is it up on the map? Um, there's a quest up there, but it's probably a quest I can do in like level 37 or something, the way this game's going. Uh, let's sleep at the camp. Restore a bit of health. I don't know if it goes up all the way. But invent and craft. We'll have a quick snoop at what we can get. Nothing. Uh, I want to upgrade the crowbar to increase damage. We need one more... Scrap metal. So hopefully killing the zombie will give us scrap metal. And yes, it is full health here, which is pretty good. Give us one scrap metal zombie, and I'll be eternally grateful. Oh, fabric. I knew it was something semi-useful. What can I destroy for one scrap metal so I can upgrade the crowbar for the boss fight? Surely you'll give me scrap metal. Oop. Maybe. Maybe not. There we go. Oh, fabric. Stop giving me fabric. What can we get for scrap metal? I'm trying to think. Wait a minute. No, we know we need it. Upgrading both of them. We need more wood. Please give me scrap metal. Oh, whoa. Plastics. You know, level three. Great, we can invent something. Yeah, let me just get one scrap metal. We'll go back to the campfire. Upgrade crowbar. Invent something. This has got to be destroyable. Yep. We may as well get the chairs while we're here. Alright, so we can finally upgrade this crowbar I've been working towards. It feels like about 10 years. Oh, a new camp! <gasps> Investigate. Invent a cooking pot. Cook any food recipe. Craft throwing knives. Throwing knives, sorry. Pronounce the, the T. Yep, new camp. Thank the Lord. Alright, camp. Store it all. Upgrade the crowbar. Pack rat. Oh, get to choose a skill. XP everything. Yep, you always invest your first XPs into more XP. It's a a good economy that way. I want to buy. Do I want a baseball cap or throwing knives? Throwing knives for the quest. Wait, craft? Oh, why'd you craft it? You fool! Just learn it, man. No, all my work I spent towards getting the crowbar has been absolutely undone. So like ten scrap metal. Oh, well, we're using we're using dory knives then. Whatever. Um. So right click. Alright, let's go fight the boss. 
my last action of this episode will be fighting this boss, and we'll see what happens after that. Oh, big guy, come over here. Ah, this guy's a terrible boss. These throwing knives are OP as. Oh, if you go too far away, he gets disinterested. <laughs> yep, just walk back, mate. Nah, this is this is cheese in the game. I'll fight this guy head on. I'm no no chicken. Away. Haven't thrown enough for your troubles, darling. Ah. Oh no, he hasn't even hit me yet. Ah, oh, no, he has. Jinxed it. Hit him from behind. Oh, that sounded very inappropriate. Hit him from behind his back. Take that, buddy. The false gatekeeper, I'm like the. Oh, I, I'm getting, I'm getting cocky here. I'm almost dead. Oh, I was getting carried away here with it. Okay, I thought we died. No, all right, we killed him. I was getting carried away with all the trash talk that I uh, almost died. But yeah, we we did it. I should head to that link tower. Okay. Well, I'm. I don't know how you took that, took that information from what I was looking at, but sure. Oh, maybe from the satellite dishes. So we'll go back to the link tower, which I'm assuming is this. We gotta sleep, by the way. Open east gate. No, I feel like it should have been transmitters. No, we did it. So that would be heading to the evacuation on the east of the island, uh, isn't it? I'd assume. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the camp, sleep up, and that that zombie almost saw me. <gasps> no, we can't fight. We can't fight. Get out of here. We got no health. Yeah, I'm at the camp. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, so that is where I'm going to leave this first episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I actually really enjoy this game. It's looking really good from what I've played so far. Um, absolute. It's a different game. I have, It's not what I was quite expecting. Oh, it kind of was. Not when I first saw the game, but once I started reading about destroying everything. and Yeah, it's a fresh take. I like all the combat. The combat feels really nice. I like the rolling and stuff. So yeah, if you're looking at buying this game, I highly recommend giving it a go. It's got overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. This video is not sponsored in any way. Um, I just like this, this game, and I think I recommend it. If you like survival crafting games, then yeah. Um, it'd be interesting to see if there's base building in the future. I don't know if there is now, but I'd always think it's... Base building is just an amazing addition to survival games, but you know, that it doesn't suit all games. And maybe if you're just trying to escape an island, base building would it make sense? But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would mean a lot to me. If you could please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. I will be up uploading more of Dismantle as well. And yeah, check out some other stuff like my um, Phasmophobia gameplay, Prison Architect. It's got a whole bunch of games, Motorsport Manager. But yeah, lots of tutorials of Football Manager, Motorsport Manager. But yeah. And that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Follow me on Twitter as well.